Alright guys, I'm Andy from Plants Videos, bringing you a GPU comparison. New versus old now. The one on the bottom, the Asus run, one, the, the Asus one with the red fans, this one, is my old one. Now, it's got gig GDDR5, clock speed of eight, seven, 875 meg, and, eight, oh, sorry, 850 meg, and the clock, the, G, uh, the RAM, the GDDR5 memory, is 975 megahertz. Now this has got two fans, it's i um, I'm going to call that a 92mm fan and an 80mm fan, not too sure on that so check the uh, website, it will be in the description, it uses a 6 pin and an 8 pin, and more heat sinks on the back, it's got a black PCB and it has dual DVIs, DVIs and a TV output, uh, sorry an S video output. Now. The new one is a Gigabyte GA, uh, Gigabyte GTX 560 Ti. Now that was an AMD ATI card type card that has been tuned up and PCB redesigned by Asus. Now this is a Gigabyte um, NVIDIA card. So NVIDIA, uh, NVIDIA brought the 560 Ti 448 out and then Gigabyte has took it and messed with it. Now Kits Gigabyte has got a blue PCB, there are always blue PCBs most commonly. Um, this has got one, this has got um, 128, 1280 meg of GDDR5, running at 4000MHz I believe, yes, 4000MHz, um, and the clock speed is 750 Fifty or thirty, I think. Now you're you're probably all wondering why I've gone for a slower clock speed card compared to that one. That's because this slower clock clock speed is matched by CUDA cores and um, higher memory speed, so it is actually better than that. So it's got more shader cores and more virtual cores and everything else. So technically, this the NVIDIA card is a lot better than the AMD card. Now, it, price comparison, that brand new was 170 when it came out. I got this for 143 pound. That was on a special offer. This was worth. This is 230 quid normally, but I got it for 145, 143 on an offer. So, the price comparison isn't really fair though to judge because. The, um, that came out, the Ace AMD one came out about four years ago, at most, at, well, at least four years ago. This came out, I'd say, two years ago most, at most. So, price comparison isn't really fair. Now, this has three, I'm going to call them 80 mil fans. You can comment on, comment on the video if you think I'm wrong, because I'm not 100% sure. Whereas, that's got, I'm going to call it 92 and 80. Yeah, then they look the same, so yeah, I'm going to say 380 mils. Now, the very smooth fans compared to the Asus ones, and these are this is a fully black, silky sort of feel. Um, I'm going to call it a case mount, you know what I mean? The actual front because the bottom's PCB, I can't remember what that's called. The the black bit, so now we'll look at the bracket now. This one, this card has. Two DVIs, HD and a display port. Now I'll prove that to you in a second when I take the covers off. So give me a second. Now guys, it's got dual DVI, HD and t uh, TV output. And a tiny vent there. But that doesn't really matter. Because this card, as I said in my unboxing video, will be dishing out the heat into your case due to the fact that the end of the card sticks out, and that's where the uh, what's it called? Now heat sink displays. As you can see, it sticks out around two centimeters at most, and you got your heat pipes, and then your power plugs. Now this power, this graphic card uses two six pins, which is two pin less, a two pin less than the previous card. Now you're probably wondering why. Have I gone for a lower power card? 
compared to going up for a massive difference compared to my old one. Now this is a big difference in against my old card and it uses more watts surprisingly so I'm wondering why it's two six pins because you'd think if it uses more than 210 watts then they'd put like two eight pins or something on which I was quite scared about when I first got when I first purchased this card now this card uses 230 watts I believe now 230 watts to 210 watts and it's a two pin less so I'm very I'm gonna have to have a look into that now this has got two uh, what they call now SLI mount brackets it's uh, capable of dual uh, is it dual yeah yeah dual SLI there with the two plug, plugs SLI plug now um, that's got two as well so they've both got well, that would be crossfire this is SLI I believe I can't remember so that's my comparison of them both now size comparison here we go so you've been waiting for size comparison now the brackets are at the same point there's the proof that the brackets are at the same point oh no they're not sorry now, there we go now they're at the same point I'll give you a better view from upside down I'll switch the camera around so a little bit of a difference not too much really now could have been sorted out if they'd put move the fans up to the bracket but let's just hope it fits in so thanks for watching guys I'm Andy from Pilots Videos bringing you the GPU comparison between the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 560 Ti448 from Gigabyte and the Asus 4890 uh, the one gig edition so thanks for watching please feel free to like comment subscribe on this video and thanks for watching goodbye